My name is Lorraine and I help people live with passion, purpose and positivity. Welcome to my channel and this video is quite exciting. It's called Passion, Purpose and Positivity. Plan with me for November 2020. This is how I like to live. I like to inspire you to live that way too. Well, as I say, welcome to my channel. I'm Lorraine. Let's dive right in. So now I'm going to put it into three steps. Uh, the first step is intend it. Intend, that's how you want to live. Don't just drift from one day to the next. It's easy to do. We all do it. Uh, before we know it, it's the end of the month. I mean, I think October went really quick, didn't it? But what I've got is an intention book. In this book, I write down intentions for the day. What I intend, um, all this, you know, anything that's going on in your life. But for this particular subject, say, I intend to live with passion, purpose and positivity. And this is how it looks like. You could delve deep into what that means to you. It's going to be different to you than it is to me, obviously. So which brings me on to number two, which is identify what your passion, purpose and positivity is. We're all unique and it might just be little things and you might like rack your brains and think, I don't know what my passion, purpose and positivity is. But as you go through your day, identify what your passion is. What do you love doing? It might be like creating things with your children. That's passion. You're feeling excited about it. And, you know, which often leads into your purpose. I want to give my kids a good life. I want to be of service. Often when you're in service, you're living your purpose. You know, so just, th just think, you know, what do I like? Do I love reading? This could be a passion. And you don't, you know, people are busy. I know that you're busy. Um, but just read like a couple of pages every day of your book. You, know, you don't want to go through a whole day of your life without living your passion because your passion is why we're here. Passion is why we're here. Passion, excitement, enthusiasm. And everybody's got some. Everybody's got something that they're passionate about. You might want to go back into your childhood. What did I love then? Did I love crocheting? Did I love knitting? <laughs> it's all unique to you, you know. Do I want to learn a new passion? Do I want to go learn skateboarding or water skiing? Anything, anything. Anything new is it really exciting, isn't it? So just identify your passion, your purpose. You could ju it just could be something small. Often, as I, like I said before, often when you're serving people, you're feeling on purpose. You know, you ask your next door neighbour if she wants anything from the shops, or you smile at people when you're out. You know, being kind—that's a purpose. You know, you're you're giving of yourself. You don't know, you don't realise how much your these small actions mean to people outside. You know. Because people are sometimes isolated. If you know the person opposite is on their own, knock on the door and say, Are you okay? Do you want to have a chat through the window or do you want shopping or anything? And often people will just be grateful just for that, you know. So positivity brings, brings me on to positivity. These three things are what I live by. So positivity, you have to, as I say, you have to be intentional about being positive positivity because that monkey mind will draw you into the negativity it's the programs that we've got since we were child and you've got to become aware of them you've got to you know become aware of them and, and then change them be able to change them so what I do all over the place is I have I have all these affirmations all over, well mainly over my bedroom sometimes on my fridge and everything but like this I intend to feel good which is a great um, Abraham Hicks affirmation. I intend to feel good. Every morning I tend to feel good. And this is another, um, this is what, I haven't got a car at the moment, but this is what I put in the dashboard of my car, which reflects onto the screen. Things are always working out for me. And I put it on the dashboard of my car and I see the reflection. And if you've got that mindset, things are always working out for, for me, you'll be amazed what the universe will bring. 
things will always work out for you. You know, your, your life will be in flow because you're in alignment. You've got these positive thoughts in your head and your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts, your feelings, your actions come back to you in experiences. You create your own reality. So there's another one that I do. <laughs> it's called, I'm getting more beautiful every single day. Now I do this with an oil that I put on my face every day. It's aroma, I'm an aromatherapist and it's oil that I put on my face every day and it's got specific oils to make you a bit more beautiful. It's for youthful skin. And I am going to actually, um, I'm going to promote it and get it out there if anybody's interested. So I've been doing this every day for two years. <laughs> and other things that I put on, I feel extreme self-love. And loads of like card like cards I carry around with me. Just like cards of general everything I want chases me. Like loads of you know, just, just be intentional about your positivity. Don't allow the the negativity to come in. I mean I have got a, a um on my YouTube channel a video called Delete Insert. So you delete the negativity and you insert the positivity. So also on my website at the moment, I'll put a link in the description below, is a tool called Positivity in Your Pocket. And it's a hundred words, positive words, that you, why well, well I've said you put it in your pocket, because you can take a screenshot of it. You have to put your email in and then you get, you get the, um, you get the positivity in your pocket and then you're on my email list and I send you lots of good stuff. But you put the positivity on your pocket on your phone, you choose a word and you feel that word all day long and you keep looking at it all day, you know. You could you could look at love. I feel love today. I feel real love for everybody and everything. And you can elaborate on that word, you know. So yeah, that's another tool in your armour for positivity. There's lots of things you can do, but I'm just giving you a few suggestions today. And then last but not least, use appreciation and gratitude to the universe. Thank you, universe, for this life of passion, purpose and positivity. Thank you for the blessings that you bring me every single day. I'm really, really grateful to be on this beautiful planet. And just keep saying things like that. Be grateful as if it's already happened. And you'll be amazed at the great things that are going to happen to you when you're in that state of alignment and appreciation and gratitude. The universe always delivers every single time. Anyway, so I'll be talking on here about, you know, passion, purpose and positivity. If you know, for the rest of the, in November. So if you want to put in the description below how you're going to live your life of passion, purpose and positivity and tell me what you're, you're doing and what you're writing about and what you're intending. So as I said before, I'll put description below of my website, Instagram and Facebook page. I hope you have an amazing day, everybody. Blessings, much love and namaste.